In this video, we want to share with you our thoughts on the rest camps in the Khalakhadi, certainly on the South African side, as we haven't been to the Botswana side just yet. Some tips and tricks that change seasonally, what we do in winter and summer, and some useful planning tips. We have only been to the Khalakhadi in the middle of winter and the middle of summer because of school holidays. They are the most popular seasons to be there because of the holidays, but a lot of people book autumn and spring because it is a much more moderate climate. We usually start and end our trips at Tuerfuren. One of the reasons is um, we've got multiple options. We've got the Ayub riverbed that you are able to take on one particular day. Um, and then you've got the Norsub riverbed that you are able to take on another day. So it just gives you variation um, when you are in that area. It's the only rest camp in the Khalakhadi that has cell phone reception. It is also the safest option when you have kids and nervous about traveling in the Khalakhadi for the first time. The shop and the fuel station have the most reliable source of stock and also the biggest variety. There's a restaurant, a pool and a hide and it's pretty well maintained. Uh, you'll find that the Tuerifuren tre- the tre- shop is um, better stocked than your other camps uh, because it is closer to the nearest town. Sometimes there, there are shortages in fuel and diesel. Um, so always make sure that you do have a jerry can with you. But if you would want to count on any of the camps, you would want to count on Tuerifuren because they more or less have uh, fuel and diesel all the time. So we've stayed at both the chalets at Tuerifuren and the campsite. We started off our um, trips to the Khalakhadi in a chalet. Which was incredible. Um, I think that's one of the best ways to kind of start your journey. If you do, especially when you've got kids, um, you know, it's a nice way to introduce them to the park and to introduce them, to not chase them away from, from the get-go. Yeah, it's, it's got air conditioning, so sleeping and days are far more fun for the kids and for ourselves. I think for us now that we've been there a couple of times, we enjoy um, ending our holiday at one of the chalets. So Tuerifiran is the only camp in the Khalakhadi affected by ESCOM's load shedding. It's worth knowing that you will still get load shedding at Tuerifiran. So now that we've got a lot more confidence by going to the Khalakhadi, we actually prefer camping. We enjoy the fun of the campsite, the kids make friends. It's it's an experience we now prefer, you know, to have in the campsite rather than the chalet where you relatively more isolated. What do you think of the campsites? Uh, campsites are fantastic. I mean, wherever you go, whether it is to a firm or even, uh, even a campsite closer to your home, it's just, for us, it's always a preferred uh, means of holidaying. Um, our kids really enjoy, <laughs> our kids look for friends. <laughs> you know, so, so for us, camping is preferred. Um, but, um, you know, you can't discount the chalets, the comfortability of the chalets. If- so you need to realize that you have to be better prepared in the Khalakhadi if you choose to camp. Yeah, so I think I think for those of you that have camps in the Khalakhadi before, you are aware that the ground is pretty hard. Um, you know, I've, I've never taken a draw. I've never even tried drilling into the ground. Um, which but you've is, broken enough pegs. I've not broken, but I've bent enough pegs to, to such an extent you have to throw them away. Yeah, well, we also tie half our awnings and... But that's if you are to your furin. No, but all of them have those wooden... You know, sometimes you end up camping instead of near a tree with the wooden structure that they have. You and can they tie can awnings be to that. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, so but if you can't get in the ground, that's what we've done. If you are towing a trailer and you've got your tent and your whole setup on your trailer um, or even your rooftop tent, you want to maybe consider purchasing a pair of max jacks because especially if you're on the ground is pretty uneven. Um, there are a couple of slopey um, campsites whereby you're going to need to level out everything um, just to make your life a little bit more comfortable. Mata Mata is the smallest but an awesome little rest camp. The chalets, units and amenities are typical standard sand parks level of quality. They are perfectly moderate. They have everything you need. Nothing too fancy, but pretty decent with air conditioning in all the chalets. 
every now and again, um, I'm sure it's the same at, at all campsites, um, not just sandbikes, but um, you do get a, a couple of bear campers who forget to clean up after themselves. And that's pretty much not the fault of sandbikes themselves, but of us and the people around us. So out of courtesy, the general idea is that we always clean up after ourselves. The campsites at Mata Mata are really spacious and there's decent shade there in the summer months. One of the great advantages is that almost every single campsite has a great view. Right. Uh, when in any of the Khalakhadi, um, you know, rest camps, it is, especially when you got kids um, and yourselves in general, you need to make sure that you wear shoes and at night time you need a torch um, at all times. There are snakes around us as well as scorpions. Yeah, our little boy Josh nearly had a encounter, well, had a close encounter with a puff adder right at the entrance of the Mata Mata bathrooms. Okay, so all the, the wildlife and encounters that we experienced in Mata Mata were absolutely fantastic. Uh, we got some really nice uh, birds, I think we did. I think we got like a uh, a woodpecker right above our tent. Um, we got meerkats or siri cats around us 24 7. We did encounter one or two campers feeding these animals. Please, in future, bear in mind that they are wild animals and they're not to be fed. It's interesting that typically scorpions are more of a summer animal or out more in summer. However, I must say we've never actually seen a scorpion in our summer trip in the Khalakhadi. And the only scorpion we've ever seen was in winter. Um, so it's really cool for the kids to take along UV lights, UV torches. They do sell these scorpion torches at um, the rest camp themselves in the shops. Um, I think they are pretty much cheaper if you buy them elsewhere though, um, to be honest. Um, but even if you don't see a scorpion, just the fact that it gives the kids a bit of an art day, it's a bit of an adventure, something, something to different, do. something to do in the park, which is fantastic. So Norsop is the most popular rest camp in the Khalakhadi. If you want a spot there, you have to book literally the day it opens, even months in advance. Why is it so popular? Undoubtedly the big cats. However, we have never seen cats at Norsop. Granted, we haven't been there 10, 20 times. Nor have we been there in summer. That'll be this year's experience. At the end of the day, you actually never know what you're going to see when you're there. So the idea is to go there and enjoy the place and enjoy what sightings you do well, get to see. I think see. it's just not having any, any expectations. It's just pretty much enjoying what you do see and savor that moment at the time. And enjoying the environment because the environment doesn't change. It's not just about the big cats. It's not just about the, the cheetahs, the, whatever the case may be. It's about actually being there in present and enjoying the tranquility of Khalakhali. So we really love the quiet nights. Norsop is as peaceful as Mata Mata. It's got the best stargazing both summer and winter, although I will dare to say that winter is better with the skies being a lot clearer. Um, summer actually has a lot of clouds because of the storms and you don't get to see the stars as much in summer. Um, I think both winter and summer offer, you know, during the daytime and at night time offer something completely different. You know, winter time, like like Carmen said, we, we get the um, you know get the stars, the clear skies, um, and then the winter time. I mean, the summertime, we get um, you know get these storms that creep up on you without um, words notice. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and us being from Cape Town, we're not used to those kinds of or that level um, of, of storm activity. So for us, it's, it's super exciting. From the sandstorm to the rain to the thunder and lightning, it is a spectacle. So we've debated which camp offers the best in-camp sightings and I tend to think that Norsop is the best in-camp sightings. Well purely because of the incredible waterhole that they do offer us. Yeah it's the best waterhole in the Khalakhadi but they also are famous for their lions like we said we've never seen them but we've enjoyed the owls and the barn owls are particularly scary <laughs> when they are screeching 
um, all night long. Um, but yeah, uh, wildlife is wildlife, and you can't you can't ignore that. We've also had a uh, blackback jackal in camp quite often. Yeah, we have. It's been, uh, been it's quite fun. And then the little mice and the meerkats, all the usual run around camp. Uh, the bird life is amazing. There is absolutely no cell phone signal at Marta Marta and Norsop. You can buy Wi-Fi at all the camps. It hasn't got the greatest speeds and it's very expensive for what you get, but it's reasonably reliable, so it can be useful in emergencies. We have used it and we found that Marta Marta is a bit better than Norsop, um, as the Wi-Fi seems to be available even from your campsite. But at Norsop, you need to be outside the shop to have decent signal. During the winter months, um, as far as packing your clothing is concerned, um, it does get pretty warm during the day. Um, we experienced uh, temperatures up to 27, 28 degrees, um, which is fantastic during the winter months. But um, you know, the nights do get pretty cold. In winter, layers are very important. You know, you start off with lots of layers in the morning and during the night, but during the day, you want to be able to take off the jacket and the scarf and just have some light clothing underneath. In the summer months, the Khalakhadi is famously hot. It can go up to 50 degrees in the day and the nights can still be 30 degrees. Obviously, that is an extreme example. You still want to pack lots of light, loose cotton items that you can easily get wet and get dry again to cool down. I always have a thin scarf, even in summer, and I often wet it and put it over my head and shoulders to act as a natural air conditioner. We do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel just to help us out with the YouTube algorithms. Safe travels!